Hello, good. Well, for me, it's morning. I'm about to uh, go to the airport to fly to the US and I wanted to share, you, sh share with you my plan for that trip because I am planning to make the camisole number six in this, uh, this bamboo, not cotton, this bamboo yarn. I have five skeins of these or little balls, I guess. And I'm gonna try to finish the whole project on the plane. So I'm gonna take you along and this is gonna be like a project vlog. Uh, I have a nine hour flight, then a five hour layover and then one, uh, another one hour flight. So I feel like I have enough time. So I'm just gonna take you along with me and I'm gonna get like all my things now and then go and I'll take you along on my trip and see how far I can get. Hopefully finish the whole thing. I think it's possible. 625 meters. All right.
I just got back from my holiday. So I just got back from my four week holiday in the US visiting my boyfriend's family together with my boyfriend. So um, I have my project over here in this bag of Loop London that I got dirty and it's like a oily fabric. So I don't really want to wash it in the washing machine. So I don't know. Anyway, um, I didn't use up all the yarn. I also didn't finish it to where I want it to be finished, but I have two balls here and I just, I tried it on before. So it's on try on tubing, but here it is. Look at that. It uh, was the same dye lot, but like, that's what you get with hand dyed yarn if you don't um, alternate skeins. But I feel like it's really bad in this lighting, and it's actually a lot better when you try it, when you actually like wear it. But anyway, I wanted to show you how far I got on that plane ride. So as you can see, I haven't finished it on my plane ride. And I wanted to show you in that video, the clip that you saw before this, how far I got in the plane. So that was until the red, it fell through to the inside. Here we go. Here's the red marker. So let's see how I can show this off best. So here's the side I got to here on the plane. So I joined, I made the front, I made the back, I joined the two in the round, and then I knitted until here on this on the body basically. And then on my trip, I knitted from there down to here. And then I just tried it on and I want some more length to it. So I'm going to be using another ball of yarn. But I've got to say, because I had five of these balls, 125 meters each, I got pretty far um, on the body uh, with just using three of those balls. So that's 375 meters gives you pretty much a full length top. So I don't know if I said which size I'm making, but I am making the size large on a three and a half millimeter needle. So I have this top already. And if you give me one second, oh, I just realized it's inside out. That's why the stitch marker was on the inside because it was on the outside. <laughs> okay, let me do that again. And let me get my other top and I'll talk about that one for a second and tell you why I even chose to make this one. So here's my other version. This is also the camisole number six by my favorite things knitwear. Um, I made this one in 100% cotton yarn. This is yarn by uh, We Are Knitters. It's the Pima cotton. It's a DK weight yarn. And the reason I don't like knitting with cotton is the smells it gets. I don't know why, but I think it just doesn't dry fast enough or something. But it doesn't smell nice. <laughs> um, anyway, so I made this one also in a size large. I use a four millimeter needle and this one fits really well. Um, but I did think when I made it, I could have made it a size smaller because I kind of like it when it has like a tighter fit. Also has to do with cotton. The cotton doesn't really follow your body. Cotton is kind of stiff. So it just like stretches out when you block it and then just stays there. So that's what you get. So I thought I wanted to make uh, another one. And then I had this yarn, which is, I think they even say it's a fingering weight yarn. I would say it's like more like a sport weight yarn or a heavy light DK, I don't know, heavy fingering. And then I thought I would make it on three and a half millimeter needles. And I took a little bit of a gamble to make the large as well but it fits really nice it's really form fitting on me but uh i really like it i tried it on it fits really well i like it and 
um, I just need a lot more length because it's gonna it's stretching out and then the uh, then the top shrinks lengthwise. So if I hold it up like this, it might look super long and long enough, but then if I wear it, it stretches all the way out, all the way out, and then it actually gets pretty short. So I need to add some more length. Um, so I'm gonna be doing that, but I figured I could end this vlog um, because I did uh, work on this on the plane the whole way. I didn't finish it. I kind of knew I wouldn't. It was just a hope that I would. Um, yeah, so let me know if you enjoyed this video, if you like these kinds of videos where I do kind of a challenge. Um, and if you want to have more content from me, knitting, uh, knitting related, then um, please consider subscribing. I put this next to me because this is my sewing and my knitting uh, stuff that I bought in the US. So if you're interested in seeing any of that, then also please consider subscribing because I'll be making some videos about that. So thank you so much for watching. It is very, very much appreciated and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.